Oh yeah. Big shout out to Lucky's Auto Sports in Lexington. We in here. Oh yeah. They'll be on the Dodges, they relearn themselves up you drive, so I think I want to go on a test on a joy ride with your car. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. I got the wide body kit sitting at home, too. Yeah. Oh, is it here? Oh, it's already painted. I painted it last night and everything. So today I'm putting the wide body kit on there. All right, guys, so I have the kit here. Just came back from Lucky's Auto Sports in Lexington. We'll put the information down below. We got some different wheels. You see them sticking out. These are the Wildcat, oh yeah, I see it, the Wildcat wheels, okay. So basically, here's something else I wanna to explain to you. Um, it doesn't come with the kit, but it's something I think uh, maybe required a little bit, you know, just to make or have the uh, kit adhere a little bit better, just a little bit better, to the side of your car. So, a plastic weld, okay? JB plastic weld. There's different kinds out there. Make sure you get JB plastic weld. What this is, is pretty much like a putty that comes in the tube, okay? Let me show you on this part what it is, pretty much. So, you see that? I've seen some people uh, with this kit, especially on the Challenger, Basically what I've done here is I put some JB Weld on there. Now what this is, or the purpose of it on here, basically kind of create more of a flatter surface. I've seen people put it all the way across these ridges here, okay? Um, but I put it at certain points where I felt like it may possibly pull away from the car, you know, with a lot of force or so. So I put it on all these parts, especially those large ones, you know. I put it around all those parts these smaller parts they clip in so it's a lot easier versus the, the challenger kit this charger kit looks like it's, it's way more sturdier because it clips into the original holes so i got to do is take out the clips and then reclip them in here but on the other side i want to make sure that this is on here so that once it cures within an hour uh, after an hour i can put the double-sided tape all along the ridges okay and it should be good to go all right so I'm gonna let this cure for an hour. Got the brackets ready. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what you need to cut, and what you would need to cut. So, and why you need to cut. A lot of people are like, oh, you may not need to cut, you may not need to cut. So let me show you something real quick. Now, if you're looking at the rear, I don't know if you can see, the shade is on, on there pretty good, let me see. get on there all right so this is the wheel gap look at that barely you can't put three fingers in there two fingers <laughs> so you put two fingers in there and I got a little space between them all right so the reason people are cutting on the fender is kind of like from here cutting almost to that fender line there just a little bit shy of it cutting 
and then folding it over. The reason they're doing that is because you want to have enough wheel space. There we go. You want to have enough wheel space basically to where if you hit a bump or something like that in the road, which would suck, of course, you know how it feels, heart hurts. But anyways, if you hit a bump, that you'll have enough wheel space between here and there so that your wheel doesn't actually hit the fender. The same thing for the front. Okay, you can see that a lot better. I'm definitely going to cut the fronts. I don't think I'm going to cut the rears because I'm pretty careful. I'm not saying that I won't ever hit a pothole or anything, but I'm pretty careful. And the gap seems to be a bit better in the back than it is in the front. So the front, I'm going to cut maybe... So I'm going to cut from about here because there is a... Um, I think there's a uh, there's a bolt right here that holds the front bumper. In. So I'm going to cut from starting right here up to about here just below the fender line right to about here I'll say about here right right about to the top of this or to the top of where your 392 badging would be and I will cut that off pretty much and then fold it under kind of how this one is stock and the reason I'm doing that of course is to make sure that I have enough wheel space for, I know the Brembo's are dirty. Don't worry, the whole car is dirty. It's gonna get clean for cars of coffee tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna cut that, of course, like I said, to make sure there's enough wheel gap and all that. So, stay tuned. All right, guys, one of the things you wanna make sure you do, um, I got my car kind of propped up. Be mindful if you have a wide body kit that you're getting ready to put in your car. I got my car kind of up. <laughs> didn't feel like jacking it up so I kind of put it up on the thing here so basically what you want to do is if you have a front splitter that's not from V-Crest I advise you to get one from V-Crest the only reason I didn't is because of my driveway here um, as you see it, it's kind of um, on an incline so that's kind of hard for me to get the V-Crest one because the V-Crest one comes up to about here or so where my foot is and mine comes up to about here now this one the one that I have here scrapes just a little bit, so you can imagine if I got the recrest one, it will scrape a whole lot. Um, and I already have to come in at an angle on my um, in my driveway, so yeah. So you got what I'm doing for mine. If you have one similar to mine, I un, um, unbolted um, several of the ones under here. The reason is you want to have enough space to get here. Okay, so I can literally just have this open here. Later on, I can cut into this and kind of create a spacing for the um, fender flare to get on on both sides of the fronts. Now one of the things you want to make sure you do before you put your wide body kit on, which I'm about to do here, um, you want to take off your side markers. Um, if you have the aftermarket or you know OEM, they'll work just fine on the wide body kit. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and take all of my um, side markers off and put them on the wide body kit. I'm going to take that the front off, I'm going to take the rears off, I'm going to put on my wide body kit so that way it's ready to go and I can just pull the wire through the wide body kit and then just connect it, boom, it's good to go. See what I mean? So let me go ahead and do that and if you want to know how to do that make sure you watch my other video on how to take off the front bumper because I explained to you how easy it is to take this off and real quick I'll just show you all you do is uh, there's a connection at the bottom of each of these on all four is the same connection under here you take the connection off of first off you want to make sure you get all the um, clips out all right make get enough clips out so you can get to the back here and there are two star shaped um, screws in here okay so you need a special tool again that's in the video I have when we're showing you how to take off the front bumper that'll show you what tool you exactly need for that part there so I'm gonna go ahead and take off all four and then install them into the wide body fender flares be back with your boy oh yeah all right guys got a little nighttime action on us so basically what you'll need now you need your 3m tape double-sided tape what I'm going with is some screws some self-tapping screws Let's see if I can focus here for you guys all right so I'm going with some self-tapping screws I got a whole bunch of those all righty guys so you see I have my bracket taped up to the car, lined up exactly where I want it. Next thing you want to do is you want to take a drill. Me, I'm going with the self-tapping screws. The kit I know comes with uh, 
double sided tape for this bracket but I'm going to drill this self tapper screw into these holes that are already kind of indented in the bracket okay so that way it's going to be kind of permanently on the car it won't come off with any uh with the tape I'm not saying the tape will come off but it won't come off then so let me go ahead and do that because I can't do it with one hand <laughs> and I'll be right back all right guys so here's what I decided to do on the door I just did two screws I think that'll be enough so I did two on the door and on the top part since it's mainly held on by the double sided tape I decided to go ahead and do the bolts in each one of these holes even the edge this one right here there's a bracket clip right here it's about two of them here that clips into the back end so you're not missing an extra bracket for the rear end you only have two brackets you have one and you have two so you just have these two but you have three wide body pieces one two and three so I'm gonna go ahead and put the double sided tape right here we put the double sided tape on the ridges here so I'm gonna put that on and then make sure the surface is pretty clean as it is already and once the double sided tape is on that was provided to us 3m gonna go ahead and snap it on stay tuned all right guys 3m tape and gorilla tape i decided to try and switch it up a little bit see which one works better so i have the double sided tape stuck on here i'm gonna go ahead and peel it off so i'm gonna peel it off and i'm gonna go ahead and stick it on and see how it goes on there stay tuned all right guys so i have the double sided tape mostly peeled off see it there mostly peeled off halfway peeled off to where I can have a starting point see it kind of sticking up so what I'm gonna do is stick it on there and then pull those tabs snap it into place bear with me all right so real quick guys I just snapped it into place you see the um, the tabs are sticking out just a little bit no I just put it I just barely peeled it off so that way I can peel it off while it's on there and already it's pretty tight. It's like literally not moving. Literally not moving. No, little movement. Little movement. Oh, it's just not pushed down. So I'm pushing down. All right, so let's snap it all in. And we're good to go. There you go. You hear audibles. You, you hear the audibles. I snapped all the way in. And we're good to go. That's one down. Go ahead and knock out the rest. You see the fingerprints on there. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. We got the first one on there. Don't worry. It, the paint color matches. Just fingerprints and stuff all over it. So we got the first one on there. Make sure you're without, without getting a shadow on here. You see that it's pretty tight on there. I mean, it's literally really tight on there. Like, it you you got it's 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 tight. The tape works, guys. The tape that comes with it works, and also does the so does the Gorilla double-sided tape, 60 pound force. That one also works. So either one, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the ones that came with it. So that's basically how you put the other ones on. Snap it in. One thing you want to keep in mind is if you want to drill into the door panels, one thing you got to watch out for, you see that sticking out, you want to make sure you get small taps, the smallest taps possible. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to um, cut these off, okay, and make sure uh, I, I also, I'm going to cut these off and I'm going to also make sure that I put some protective tape on there so there's no rust that forms on there. But as you can see, it's super tight on there. It is not coming off guys. Like I tried pulling it off. It's pretty tight on there. Bracket holds it well. Everything's held on well. So let's go ahead and knock out the middle one and the back. Oh yeah. Alright guys, so one quick thing I want to show you when you're putting tape on. Alright. So this edge right here, you want to make sure the tape goes right along the edge. And what I mean is 
you see this ridge along here that's what you're setting the tape on not this one up here but this one down here all right you see that that's what you're setting the tape on so you want to set the tape on this ridge but not above this ridge on this ridge but not above this ridge that's the guy that I'm kind of going against going with them to put the tape on okay I'm kind of messing around with the two tape two tapes see which one sticks but that's what I'm gonna go ahead and finish with the rest of the 3M stay tuned all right guys so I have the next piece which is the middle one ready to put on got the tape got the double sided tape off on the 3M ones got the Gorilla Glue black ones on the ends all right so the when you're putting on the wide body kit for the charger make sure you put the rear doors on first then put on the center ones because you have to make sure that lines up if not you know you're going to be slamming this into that and it won't work you want to make sure this lines up and that everything you know is lined up so that you can open and close the door so i'm going to go ahead and set this on here i've actually lined up the brackets myself with this kind of template temp set on there and make sure that it's lined up but i'm going to double check by putting this on there but beforehand i'm going to go ahead and take off most of this blue tape i can leave that little bit on there if i want to but since this is already bolted in i don't need the tape so let me go ahead let me go ahead and peel this tape off again guys i know it's nighttime. i really wanted to go ahead and do this video because i got a lot of things i gotta get going make sure you guys subscribe to go card or go online this is a nighttime darkness full production type thing <laughs> sorry let's look at, let's see I'm gonna try to do this one hand let's see if I can get it snapped in one second guys. all right guys I was able to get it snapped in the key again make sure you set this one first then set that one second before you do any of the other ones the rear doors are where you want to pay attention to the most to the most because this has to line up perfect right here I promise you that has to line up perfect it doesn't look like it's perfect like it's off it's not okay so don't worry about that here's what here's what I mean when you open it when you open it sorry got the wheels in the back so that's why it's not closing all the way boom close just fine okay back up to show you and that's the wheel gap still got some space let me go ahead and put the rear on but beforehand let me go ahead and peel these off and this is what i mean by peeling them off okay so it's peeled off got which way it went <laughs> What this is doing is allowing the rest of the 3M tape to be on there. You want to make sure you apply some pressure all the way around. Okay. This can be done at night. <laughs> Just showing you guys this can be done at night. And watch this. Look, I'm going to try to pull it off. It's not pulling off, guys. So it's on there. It's on there pretty tight. Like really, really tight. Way more than you would think it would have been. Not loose at all. I'm shaking it and everything is not coming off, guys. So this product is really good. Let me go ahead and knock this rear one out. And then we're going to finally get to the front. Black Panther, go Carter, go. Let's, get, let's do it. Let's do it. So you got this rear one, this last one. This is the one that has the light in it the rear light so i already installed the rear light already screwed it up the only thing you want to be mindful of is the connection you want to pull your connection out make sure it's ready and what i'm going to do my connection's right there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have the tape out like that here's the rest of it it's a little curvature you got to go around just make sure you follow what i said stay below that ridge there you go stay below that ridge okay and you'll be good all right, so let me go ahead and put this on there. Keep that light out. You want to get this close. Make that connection. Again, get this close. 
make that connection and then firmly stick it to the body. Snap it in here. It snaps in two places here. Okay, excuse me, one place. Look, you see that one right here? That snaps into right there. That's why it's that long. Okay, so that snaps in there. And the rest, you use your OEM grommets. You use your OEM grommets to fasten the rest of it, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. Put the camera down, get back to you, and show you what it looks like. I. I. Alrighty, guys. Rear is complete. Let me go ahead and bring this light over so you can see a little bit quick. Bring this light over so you can see a little bit better. Rear is complete. One audible snap. I have my three grommets. Where's, where's my hand? One, two, three. Three grommets line up perfectly. Light is in there. This is the aftermarket light, so it looks a little different than OEM. The whole strip lights up. Let me show you guys real quick. See? Whole strip lights up. The light is in there. It wraps around. It contours the body perfectly, guys. And it's it's snug with the with the tape, the 3M tape that they give. The Gorilla Glue that I use, alternatively, also works great. The 3M is the right size, and everything that they give you, and it works just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the front, and we're gonna get this going because this this is gonna be dope. And by the way, in case you're wondering how the wheels sit. I'm going to show you a daytime shot later on, but the wheels are just fine. See? Fits right in there. That's fine. These are the wide body Vox wheels. I'm going to put a link in the description where I got these. <coughs> got them from V-Press as well. They got them on their website. They sell way more than body kits, guys. Steering wheels, body kits, wheels. Holla at them. Big shout out to V-Press. Let me go ahead and get the rest of this on. And we're gonna get this bad boy live. I'm gonna show you guys some some clear shots. Trust me. Don't worry. I know this is at night. It's gonna work out just fine. All right, guys. Now we're on the front bracket. Now, when you're doing the front bracket, there's a few things you have to notate. If you have a scat pack or a Hellcat, you will have to cut the fenders. If you can see that line, oops, let me get out of the shape. You can see that marker line that I made going across. You see it on the blue tape. So you can gauge the amount of space you'll need. So you'll need to cut about that much. So you see it's above, it's about a little less than halfway on that body line. Okay, so you'll need to cut that just to make sure your wheel has gap uh, space for, you know, if you hit any bumps or anything like that. Um, Keep in mind, I'm, I'm rocking the wide body Hellcat reps by Vox. And I have 295, 295s on here. I was gonna get 305s, but that's a little taller. So I needed 295s to be a little, little shorter. So I can rock it on there. So I got it lined up and I'm gonna also be drilling holes for this one as well. Stay tuned. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drilling this in, drilling the bracket in. And after that, I think I'm going to take it in the garage, make my cuts and show you guys the cuts that I made. Okay. So the yes, that means I'm going to have to cut some of the bracket off. Okay. And I have to cut some of the bracket off. At the very top, there's going to be one part where it snaps in. So about here, I have to reinforce it with a lot more tape or something like that to kind of keep it in there. Because we don't have anything to necessarily stick on but I'm gonna make sure it has enough wheel gap. So let me go ahead and do that, get that knocked out, and show you guys what it looks like. Oh yeah. Alrighty guys, so here are the cuts that I made. You see the body line? I'm below the body line just about. And the reason, and the reason I made these ridges, kind of like my tires, is I'm gonna bend these inward so that the fender liner can have something to hold on to uh, so that the wheel liner wheel well liner whatever you want to call it has something to hold on to so these tabs 
are going to be bent in so though again the wheel well have something else to hold on to and you see it kind of goes up here thus giving it space it's kind of jacked up right now got it kind of jacked up so that way it'll give it space and you can see i cut into the bracket right here there's one piece that it snaps in where it snaps in right here the rest of the bracket is gone all the way up till you get right about here then the rest of it is back all the way down so right here you want to ensure you put in good amount of double-sided tape and things like that um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and clean this all up I'm gonna paint um, the edges and everything refine it sand it down and stuff, stuff like that just to make sure you know everything's legit there's no rust that accumulates or anything like that uh, I'm gonna sand it down paint it and we're gonna go from there <laughs> hard work and you can do this yourself if you really put the effort into this is the first time I'm doing this just showing you guys you can do it too go Cardo go see you in a second Woo all right guys real quick another thing I want to show you typically most people do this with their wheels off so if you don't trust yourself with cutting tools take your wheels off I just jack mine up so I can reach it reach it pretty good but anyways with your fender line make sure you cut some slits in here I cut this in a triangle shape so I can be able to fold some of these up so it can reach up here, okay? Because it's gonna be a struggle. Same here, I did the same here and here. So I'll be able to actually push it up. So let me go ahead and paint this area here. Uh, paint the little teeth and whatever, and I'm gonna... So let me go ahead and paint the teeth, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bend them up, put the fender liner on, put the fender liner up there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and prep the rest of the wide body kit, put it on this side and show you how we roll. All right, y'all, I skipped ahead a little bit, but it's uh, pretty self-explanatory, pretty much just like the back from here on out. You just line them up, put them all in. That's the front, lined up just right. Again, I'm gonna show you guys a walk around picture, but uh, again, you snap them into the brackets. Uh, you make sure that you make your light connection, make sure that you make your light connection. So you gotta bring this part kinda close, real close to the car, make your connection, because the wire is a little tight. Um, I don't know if you can see the light there, right there. So you make the connection, the wire is a little tight, you uh, put the connection in, and you're good to go. So that's one whole side finish. Um, you wanna do the same thing on the other side. Also, before we go, big shout out to Vicrez, 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 I hope I'm saying it right. Big shout out to Vicrez. Um, they hit me up with this uh, wide body kit. Got me together with the wheels. Lucky's Auto Sports got me together here in Lexington with the Niddle tires. These are 11 by, these are 20 by 11s, all the way around. No rubbing, everything's just fine. Without further ado, here's a, here's a walk around of the Scat Pack wide body. Big boy tires, big boy wheels. I love it. All right, what's up, y'all? It's Go Cardo Go, and I want to show you guys basically everything on the wide body scat pack. Everything's pretty much done. I want to show you guys what the full kit looks like. The wide body was definitely, <laughs> definitely a task to put on. Big shout out to vcrez.com. Put the information right about here. You see it. Um, also in the descriptions, I'm going to put the information. But without further ado, let me show you guys a quick walk around. I know. You guys had to endure the night, <laughs> the nighttime partial install, but it's all there, you know. And before I do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe, that like, share, comment. Definitely let me know what you think, what you think I could have done better, um, your input on what you think on it. You like it or not, uh, let me know. Woo!
guys have it. There's the wide body look. Um, it's amazing. I love it. Couldn't ask for more. Big shout out to V Crez. I know I got the sun in your face here. Let me go ahead and move it around. Big shout out to V Crez. The wide body kit looks amazing on there. I love it. It was definitely a project. You can do it. This is my first time doing this, guys. And look how it turned out. Turned out amazing. Got the wheels put on by Lucky's Auto Sports in Lexington. Shout out to them, you know. Got the tires from them. Got the wide body scat pack wheels, but in bronze. Nobody else got that out here. Nobody. But it goes perfect with my scat, with the whole Black Panther theme and everything like that. Beautiful wheels. Wide body kit, amazing for V-Crest. Big shout out to them. This isn't just um, fender flares that stick right onto the side of the car. No, these go, you use your OEM clips and everything like that, just like I showed in the video earlier. Definitely, definitely a super duper, super dope kit. You see, you see the shirt. I know you're like, what is he wearing, yo? <laughs> a little different. I'm all about, I'm all about art. You see it, guys. Black Panther all day. That's what I'm about. I love it, guys you guys a quick walk around again the wheels sit beautifully cut into the fender to make sure that the wheels in case you hit any bumps are good back you'll be all right just make sure you follow proper road etiquette make sure you watch out for potholes things like that uh, other than that you'll be good good to go it sits beautifully always be advised and please remember the scat pack and hellcats sit lower than the other cars so if you're gonna get this wide body kit, you have to do the cuts. I know it's I know it's very nerve wracking. Believe me, I kept turning angle grinder on, off, on, off. Like, okay, am I gonna do the cuts or am I gonna just hold off and try to squeeze it on there? I went ahead and did the cuts. You know, got the pieces, the metal little pieces at home. Definitely cut under there. I even primed, painted everything that I cut so that way the metal is protected. Everything's good to go. I did everything proper. Didn't go to the shop. I considered going to a shop to get this um, put in, but I want to go ahead and do it myself. And I'm all about helping you guys save money as well as I. <laughs> I save money myself. So this is me saving money. This is me doing it for you guys. I love doing this for you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. You know anybody that's considering a wide body kit for their scat packs, Hellcats, whatever, for their Dodge Charger, uh, 15 and above, I believe that's what the V-Crest has right now. Make sure you guys Share this video, show them what I did. So I went into quite a bit of detail on how to do it. First one ever to do it, Vcres wanted me to go ahead and do this in detail. First one ever do it in detail. So I wanna show you guys exactly what I did, how it turned out. There's no, there's no fakeness. I even did the painting. I even did the painting. Um, just for you guys, just for your reference, I personally went to Sherwin-Williams, uh, the specific ones that do the auto body paint, I went to Sherwin Williams, got my paint code, gave them my paint code, did it in all in aerosol format. I'm sure you guys seen in the video earlier. Did the painting, did the sanding, priming, painting, all myself. The only thing I will let you guys in on a little, little tiny secret. The only thing I gotta do, and you can't really even tell, is uh, the fender flares have a little bit of orange peel on it for my paint guys, the people who know what that is. All I gotta do is uh, wet sand it, uh, 1500, 1000, 2000 grit sandpaper and then buff it out. That's it. And it's gonna be shiny just like the car. But as you guys can see, it's already shiny like the car. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love it. I don't, I don't boast a lot, but I'm gonna boast right now. I really, really like how this has come out. You see the wide body. It's on there. It's a net breaker. I do it for the people. I do it for you guys. Uh, people appreciate it. I appreciate that you people appreciate it. It's amazing, guys. Definitely amazing. You see it. This is Go Cardo Go. You like the car? Hit the like. Tell me what you like about it. Tell me what you don't like about it. Tell me what I should do next. I'm always up for suggestions. People suggested I should get a scat. I've always wanted a scat. I got it. People suggested I should uh, get wider wheels. I actually got wider wheels. These are 20 by 11s all the way around. Not staggered. Nothing like that. I'm going to leave the comments up to you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all that. Sirens are big. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Hit subscribe, guys. Make sure you subscribe. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm showing you guys how to customize your car. More specifically, this style Dodge Charger. For most things. Some things will fit for other cars, other, you know, like the, the front splitter, stuff like that. 
Universal, uh, excuse me, the side skirts Universal. But enough talking, <laughs> go Carter, go. There we go, we outie. Woo! Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Franz with Brave Ruler Gallery, our new online store, something different for you guys to support, a little more flair, a little more art. Look no further, this is a place for you. Make sure you check us out on our online store. The link is in the description. Buy you some new merch. Look cool, feel cool, be you.